Hey everybody, this is Lewis, Lewis Speaks 2020, and today I want to talk to you about holding space for yourself. Oftentimes we go to therapists, we go to counselors, we go to healers, asking them to hold space for us, asking them to be present. And what exactly does it mean to hold space? Hold space means to sit with someone, to be present, to be open, to allow them to express their innermost selves to us without us providing feedback, advice, judgment, criticism. What we act as is open containers. We're open containers that allow other people to express the fullness of their lives. And we give them permission to be who they are. We give them the opportunity to express themselves. And what we do is we observe. We attend to their emotions. We offer nothing but ourselves. And this is just an aspect of what it means to hold space for someone else. But oftentimes we ask from other people what we refuse to give to ourselves. And I realized that for so long personally, I struggled to hold space for myself. I felt it to be awkward. It was strange. It was uncomfortable. And now I'm learning that it's important to hold space for myself. You know, it's important to hold space for yourselves too. And what does that mean to hold space for yourself? It means to sit with yourself, sit with the discomfort, the initial discomfort, sit in the silence, sit and just absorb your experience. Do not label it, do not judge it, do not criticize it. All you have to do is just let it be. Let your experience flow. Pretty much when you sit and you meditate, don't add qualifiers to your thoughts. Don't label them good or bad. Basically just let them flow and be present for them. Also be present inside your body. Where are you feeling certain things inside your body doing a body scan? Scanning from your head to your mouth, to your arms, to your chest, to your heart. Your breathing is essential. Paying attention to how you breathe is essential. And oftentimes we are living in this fast paced world. You gotta slow down, take a breath, and just release and pay attention to your breathing. Pay attention to its flow, the rhythm. You know, this is how you hold space for yourself and why it's so difficult to hold space for ourselves? Well, there are a variety of reasons. You know, oftentimes growing up, we were taught to betray ourselves, to be to others what they need, to be impressive, to be whatever they want to see. We were taught always to be what people want to see. We were never taught to value ourselves, our individuality, our independence. We were always taught to be a reflection of everyone else. And the self-betrayal makes it very difficult for one to hold space for themselves. And it makes you feel uncomfortable because you're so used to trying to people please. You're so used to trying to make sure everybody else is taken care of at the expense of your own needs. You start to do a disservice to yourself. And part of holding space and learning how to hold space for yourself is saying to yourself, I am valuable. I am worth myself. If I expect other people to hold space for me, why am I not holding space for myself? You know, we oftentimes teach people how to treat us by how we treat ourselves. And if you treat yourself bad, you teach other people how to treat you bad too. And that's what I've learned. That's a major lesson that I've learned in 2019. And that's extending now in 2020. You know, I'm also learning that 
it's important to invest in people and situations that appreciate. Invest in what appreciates. And how do you know something appreciates? It reciprocates, it gives back. So with that being said, I ask myself, how can I give myself back to myself? How can I give me back to me? And how can I hold space for myself? And the answer is just sitting with myself, dialoguing with myself, writing, journaling, meditating, drinking water, breathing, eating a wonderful diet, you know, engaging in a, a routine skincare regimen, brushing my teeth at night, you know, doing these simple things, water, getting enough water, staying hydrated, that's essential if you want to start holding space for yourself. It's about self-care. And also holding space for yourself involves you to be able to sit with your uncomfortable feelings. Don't judge them, don't criticize, offer them compassion, you know? And don't reply to yourself with harsh comments. The same loving kindness that you extend to other people, you deserve that too. You know, and that's what I'm learning. I know that I deserve every gift that I give to other people. And that's, that's, that's the first step. That's the first step. But once again, this is a journey. It's ongoing. It doesn't stop. You know, you cannot reach a level of, I guess, self-actualization. There is no level of self-actualization because you're constantly evolving. You're constantly growing. Um... So what you do basically is just keep it flowing. You keep on maintaining and maintenance is essential in the process of holding space for yourself. So I encourage everybody to today, not tomorrow, not any other day, just begin to hold space for you. Hold some space for you because you deserve, you deserve all the love that you give to everyone else. And so... I definitely hope this video finds you well, and I hope you begin to hold space for yourself because you are worth it. And so I say this from the heart, and I wish everybody a wonderful, wonderful 2020. Take care.